Hi, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm going to talk about voice over Wi Fi architecture in the LTE network. There are some videos uh, which are about LTE process, uh, attached procedure, tracking area update, uh, LTE access network, LTE RAN, CPRI, ECPRI, and you know, all of them are related to a situation that you can find at the bottom of this snapshot that we have our UE connection to the e and the rest of the LTE network. But now imagine a situation that you're at your house and uh, maybe the place in which you live, uh, it is located in a remote area or maybe you are living in a basement. On the whole, imagine a situation that while there is a poor cellular coverage, there is a strong and good quality internet connection. As we does some sorts of events measurements all the time, uh, for example, it searches uh, for neighboring cells to do cell reselection or it keeps listening to the broadcast messages. When you find itself in a situation like this, I mean, uh, poor cellular coverage, on the other hand, a strong internet connection, good Wi Fi uh, connection, so it searches at first for a DNS here and then sends a message towards the PDG. The first message it contains. Uh, information of the UE uh, we call that subscriber identity and the first message which is not encrypted yet it goes towards EPDG and as uh, UE is gonna send everything towards the internet so security will be a matter it will be important EPDG uh, is a, we can consider that as a gateway to the world outside it is evolved packet data gateway it sends them towards triple A and it acts like a proxy server sends them towards HSS, HSS does the identification and authentication and sends them back to the AAA. It catches the information, stores them maybe for future requests in order to uh, decrease the latency and then sends them towards EPDG. So now UE requests for an IPsec tunnel. So what is an IPsec tunnel? We can consider our diagram now like this. We, are, we have our connection to the internet and also uh, we need an IPsec tunnel for security. IPsec tunnel is kind of tunnel that supports hashing algorithm. Uh, it's very robust and uh, it has 64 codes. So we need that. And uh, once this tunnel established, all of the information, data, uh, voice, and uh, I mean, control layer stuff, all of them flow towards this tunnel. When the tunnel is established, EPDG sends a message towards AAA and say, hey, now you have your IPsec tunnel, now you can request for a bearer. So we have our connection to the internet, we have our IPsec tunnel, and also we have a GPRS tunnel here. So we need an IMS bearer because uh, we're talking about the voice call. And now we can summarize the everything like this, as we know bearer is kind of tunnel that uh, connects a source and a destination to each other. So now, we have our voice over Wi-Fi tunnel or uh, we have our IMS bearer here towards the IMS uh, which contains SBC a session border controller is kind of network that is deployed on SIP based voice over IP networks and also we have PCSCF PCSCF is a primary call session control function it's a major entity it routes and handles everything and when it is occupied or failed to do the responsibility, we have SCSCF secondary uh, call session control function. Uh, it shoulders the responsibility, and also we have a, a connection to the PST and all the voice networks. Oops, my head covers that. <laughs> anyway, so uh, now we have our bearer, our IMS bearer. Uh, once the IMS bearer, bearer established, you sends an RRC bearer deactivation request towards the inner and say hey I do not need my previous bearer so this bearer will be deactive and uh, they have this bearer so this concept that uh, when the signal received signal level degrades and uh, it changes over the UE changes over from our uh, cellular to the internet connection this concept is uh, something that uh, called inter-rat handover and rat stands for radio access technology to something that uh, called uh, inter-rat handover and there is a question now 
how long will this bearer, the ionos bearer, last? And the answer is, as long as there is no change in the situation. As I told you, UE uh, keeps doing some sort of measurements. And when there is no change, it uh, sends a refresher towards the EPDG and say, hey, I still need my bearer, so keep it for me. So this is the thing that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope it was good and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe channel. Bye everyone.